Well, it is without a doubt one of the most talked about stories of the day. For some unknown reason, up to 40,000 caged minks were set free in Van Wert County. And 10,000 are still unaccounted for tonight. The sheriff's office there tells us someone broke into a mink farm this morning and set them all free. Our Michael Sandlin traveled down there today and he gives us an idea of just how strange of a day it has become and how strange it became for everyone nearby. This is just one of the estimated 10,000 escapees from Lion Farms USA, a mink farm off of US 127. While they might look cute, experts say they pose a serious threat to farming communities in the surrounding area. They can get into flocks of chickens um, and ducks and other birds around that size, and they can devastate a flock. That's Curtis Young, an agriculture and natural resource specialist with The Ohio State University. He says while well, these minks were farmed, they're far from tame and are known to kill more than they need to live. As the Van Wert County Sheriff is investigating how this happened, his office has already received multiple calls for concern from the public. In the hours since the escape, sheriff's deputies confirmed for me that snow plows had to be brought in to deal with all the roadkill, and dozens of locals have come out with firearms to help control the population. One such local is Steve Rip Logel, who says he's already shot eight minks so far today. He says his friend's chicken farm has already been attacked, and he's shooting them as a public service. A danger to society, nuisance. What do you plan on doing with them? Well, I heard they're about $40 a pop, so I must find out where I can get them. With mink hunting technically illegal in Ohio, it's hard to tell where the chips will fall legally with this behavior. With deputies on scene actively encouraging people to find the animals, it's unclear if there will be any repercussions. And if the locals don't kill them, Young says it's still unlikely they will survive the winter. Because of the time of the year, the availability of prey is going to be somewhat limited for them. Uh, so unfortunately, a lot of them are going to starve to death. We're still working to learn more about the farm itself and what the owner was doing with 40,000 minks. Reporting in Van Wert, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.